Thank you, sir, for stimulating enthusiasm in all of us. Your words will surely bring about a positive change in all of us and enlighten our path towards success. The road ahead of you. Maybe there is a new world down the road. Walking forth is the only light because we didn't come this far to come this far only. A heart filled with aspiration is all that we knew since the very existence of the school and that's what gave us the ambition of marching forward till excellence is achieved in all our endeavors. Annual report of a school is like a mirror that reflects all the activities carried out during the academic year. It gives a nutshell of every aspect. The success achieved by the sheer hard work and perseverance of our students will be shown. Now I would request our respected principal ma'am to please put forth the annual report of the school for the session 2021-2022. Namaskar once again. As sir had said, that it's all energy around us. The vibrations which the animals and the human beings, they all know about it. They do not need any words. And Nikola Tesla, the famous physicist, once said, what a wonderful world it would be if we think in terms of energy and vibrations. Now, for the annual report, I take this immense pleasure to present to you briefly the highlights of our activities and achievements for the year 2022-23. Success is no accident. It is the sweet result of hard work and perseverance combined with the desire to excel. Excellent CBSC class 12 result, as always, filled us with pride and I feel honored to put forward the result of class 12 here today. In the science stream, Mudit Mangal outperformed everyone by securing 96%. In commerce section, there was a tie between Lavya Bhatia and Parv Bansal at 96.8%. And humanities was topped by two students, Sobhi Rajarwal and Kanchi Lavanya. They both scored staggering 97.6%. Standard 10, with the strength of 182 students, was also not behind and received excellent result. Our Dakshesh topped the school with astounding 98.8% marks. Swami Vivekanand said, if the mind is intensely eager, everything can be accomplished. Mountains can be crumbled into atoms. And chess is a mind game. Our young budding talent, Yash Bararia of class 8, participated in many chess championships under the ages of All India Chess Federation. He participated in 9th National Amateur Chess Championship and was placed at 4th position. He won Rajasthan State Under-15 Open Chess Championship 2022 and got once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have a direct session with 5-time World Champion Vishwanathan Anand. He secured first position in Rajasthan State Amateur Chess Championship 2022. He won District Senior Championship and was awarded with a trophy and a cash prize of rupees 5,000, making him eligible for state level. There also, he delighted everyone by bagging the first position. We take great pride in announcing that he secured first position in both Rajasthan State Senior Championship and Rajasthan State Under-19 Open Chess Championship 2022. When students are physically fit, they will achieve more academically. Bearing this in mind, 
the school provides many opportunities for students to perform regular exercises and yoga and to play and prove their metal in various sports and games. Asiatic Roller Sports Experts Confederacy, RSEC, organized a roller speed skating championship in Pattaya, Bangkok, where five Asian countries participated. Arjen Mina of 9th D from our school participated and made us proud by winning three medals, a silver in 1000 meters ring race, a bronze medal each in 300 meters and 500 meters ring race. 19th Sardar Seva Singh Johal Memorial All India Roller Basketball Championship was organized in Punjab where both Atharv Sharma Class 9 and Dhan Chaudhary Class 7 secured first position in Under 19 and Under 14 category respectively. Chetali Saluja of Class 6 was placed in second position in Under 14 category in the same competition. In All India Speed Skating Championship, Atharv Sharma of Class 9 got a gold medal in Under 16 Quad Boys Dhyan Chaudhary of Class 7 secured a gold medal in Under 14 Inline Boys and Chetali Saluja bagged a gold in Under 12 Quad Girls. <laughs> United Muthai Association of India organized National Muthai Tournament in Madhya Pradesh. Tanmay Sharma and Kuldeep Saini of Class 12 participated and won bronze medals. They also got selected for the World Youth Championship organized by International Federation of Muthai Association to be held in Malaysia. In CBSC West Zone Taekwondo Tournament, Manav Pancholi of Class 12 won a gold medal, Tanmay Sharma Class 12 won a silver medal, and Kulkit Raina of Class 10 won a bronze medal. Manav and Tanmay secured their place in nationals as well. In CBSC Cluster Athletic Tournament, Deepak Meena Class 12 won a gold medal in high jump. Nitesh Kumar of Class 11 received a gold medal in 100 meters and was declared the fastest athlete. He was also announced the best athlete of the tournament in under 17 category. Aditya Swaraj of Class 11 won a bronze medal in discus throw. Deepak Meena and Nitesh Kumar also got selected for CBSC National Tournament. Gaurangi Sharma of Class 4 participated in Rajasthan State Under 11 Chess Championship 2022 held at Udaipur and was placed 6th in the merit list. She was the youngest player competing in this championship. In RBC State Gymnastic Tournament for Boys Under 17, Dhyan Lalji Baradia, Class 9, won a silver medal. RBSC State Roller Skating Tournament for Boys and Girls Under 19, Aryan Mina of Class 9, won two silvers, each in 1,000 meter race and road race. RBSC State Taekwondo Tournament for Boys and Girls Under 17 and 19, Manav Pancholi, Class 12, made us proud by winning a bronze medal. <laughs> RBSC District Handball Tournament for Boys Under 17 was conducted in Jaipur, where Anand Mishra of Class 11 and Yogendra Singh of Class 10 won and were selected for the 66th RBSC State Level Tournament. <laughs> RBSC District Taekwondo Tournament for Boys and Girls under 17 and 19 was held in Jaipur, in which Mano Pancholi and Anjishnu Srivastava of Class 9 both were awarded with gold medals and Tanmay Sharma Class 12 won silver. All three were selected for the 66th RBSC State Level Tournament. In District Taekwondo Open Tournament, Anjishnu Srivastava was awarded with gold medal, whereas Himanshu Dogwal, Aradhya Meena, and Harshita Agrawal received silver medals.
in RBSC District Roller Skating Tournament for Boys and Girls under 19 held in Jaipur, Angel Rawat of 9th won a bronze medal in 1000 meters race. In RBSC District Roller Skating held at Nase, Chaitali Saluja won bronze medal in both 500 meters and 1000 meters race. In RBSC District Athletics for Boys under 14 held in Jaipur, Yuvraj Singh bet silver medal in both 400 meter and 600 meter race. Manvendra Singh, ninth of class 9, won a gold medal in discus throw. Both were also shortlisted for the 66th RBC state level tournament. In the 66th RBC district athletics for boys under 17 and 19 held in Jaipur, our students won five golds and three silver medals. Ayush Sharma, 12th, won gold medal in short put. Nidesh Kumar of 11th got one gold each in 100 meter race and triple jump and a silver medal in long jump. Deepak Meena bagged silver medal in triple jump and high jump both. Ashish Meena of class 11 got a gold medal in triple jump. Yash Mathur of class 12 got gold medal in 110 meter hurdle race and all five were selected for our PSC state level tournament. Aditya Swaraj of class 11, Mehul Dutta of class 11, Nitesh Kumar and Meet Girl of 12 also got gold medal in 4 in 200 meters relay race. And it is worth mentioning that out of 300 schools and 1224 participants, the school secured first position and took the championship trophy. In RBC Under-14 Athletics Zonal Tournament held in Jaipur, Mayank Punia, Yuvraj Singh, Indresh Yadav, Dhritvan Singh Rathor won a gold medal in 4 into 100 meter relay race. Nilesh Saini of Class 8 got, got two gold medals in short court. Manvendra Singh bagged silver medal in both short court and discus throw. Yuvraj Singh was honored with gold medals in both 400 meters and 600 meters race whereas Mayank Punia of class 9 was awarded with silver medals in the same. Both were also shortlisted for the district level tournament. Aman Sharma received a bronze medal in 600 meters race and Dhritvan Singh Rathor was accorded a bronze medal in 200 meter race. I appreciate the efforts of the sports department because of which the students are getting so many medals and achieving the highlights. Innovation is the change that unlocks the new value that leads to betterment and success. Our school innovation group has made us proud at numerous occasions by winning many accolades. We would like to appreciate the innovation cell of the school and the mentors under the guidance of which the students are winning so many prizes. Rajasthan DigiFest 2022 was organized by the state government as an opportunity for students to display their technological innovation and startups. Eight students from our school participated and made us proud by winning total cash prize of 2.25 lakhs. Vaishnavi Sharma, Surbhi Rajarwal and Munindita Joshi secured third position at state level and won a cash prize of rupees 50,000. They prepared sanitary pad, namely green pad, using cellulose extracts from plant waste. Harit Mangal of class 11 and Munindita Joshi of class 12 made the school proud by securing first prize at divisional level where they prepared a scarecrow named Paraclete. They received a cash prize of 75,000. <laughs> Paraclete was published in the official journal, journal of Department of Patents for promotion of industry and internal trade. Sriman Agrawal, Pratham Prasad and Vansh Ambadar were awarded third prize at divisional level and were given a cash prize of rupees 25,000. They prepared sewage cleaner robot. In the same competition, 
Meghnagar bat second position and received a cash prize of rupees 25,000. She prepared a device to remove foreign particles stuck in the respiratory tract. Himadri won a, the cash prize of rupees 50,000 in rural category for preparing a weed cutter that works through laser technique. Manipal University, along with collaboration of Government of India, organized an event called Hackademic to inspire innovation and entrepreneurship in students. Participants were judged through four rigorous selection stages spanning over five months through online and offline modes. And finally, five best entries were awarded in a grand award ceremony. Aditya Chaudhary achieved second runner-up award and Neeti Jangir of Class A received special mention award, that is the fourth runner. All India Asteroid Campaign 2022 Phase 2, organized by International Astronomical Search Collaboration in partnership with NASA, our students identified 20 detections and two of them were confirmed as preliminary detections. If confirmed by NASA, asteroids will be named after these students. MNIT Innovation and Incubation Center Jaipur organized Energy Champathon Hackathon, where around 80 students from different schools participated. Our school team, comprising of four students, secured first position for presenting their idea of piezoelectric city. The students were awarded with a cash prize of rupees 15,000. The students are Meghna Gar, Aditya Chaudhary, Lavanya Jain, and Nejal Thakur. Code Red 2.0 Youth Ideathon competition was organized where our team got sixth position and received a cash prize of rupees 12,000. Spardha Ideathon national competition was held in Panipat where Vansh Ambardar, Sriman Agrawal, Pratham Prasad, and Akshat Babal secured 4th position and won a cash prize of Rs. 5,000. Science model making competition was organized by Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Our team of students secured the second position, I'm sorry, the first position in this competition. Himadri Agrawal secured second position for her project. And here I must add, that this rapid digital and technological world requires artificial intelligence and so it has been added to the curriculum for class 9 and 10. A real teacher is one who realizes that he or she must always be a learner. Workshops and seminars encourage new ideas and knowledge. A number of enrichment programs for teachers are being organized every year. Teachers attended the workshops conducted by CBSC and other organizations for enriching themselves and keeping them updated for NEP 2020. Srimati Neelam Bhardwaj attended a three-day training session by FA Plus UK, British Council and CBSC. We are happy to announce that she was appointed as a trainer and content reviewer for CBSC teachers. In teaching aid competition, teachers, our teachers, Srimati Shubhi Sharma, Sri Manish Kumabar, Srimati Pooja Paliwal, got first position at district level and fourth position at state level competition. <laughs> Sri Vishal Khatri attended pre commissioned training course JDJW Air Wing at Air Force Station Chennai and was selected as Associate NCC Officer. Another faculty member, Sri Rakesh Vyas, was recognized for his artistic creativity at many occasions and was bestowed with awards like Kala Ratnam Award, Golden Brush Award and Padmashri Ramgopal Vijayvargiya Honor.
Department of Post organized Deen Dayal Sparsh Yojana, a scholarship scheme for promotion of STEMs. Our students submitted 44 projects on different themes under the same, out of which 20 were selected for and received scholarship worth rupees 120,000. <laughs> under the ages of Amrit Pets 2023, a wall painting competition was organized by the Department of Posts India, where the school won and secured, and secured the second position. The participants were Vanshika Sharma, Shreshti Khandelwal, Navya Tagaya, and Arush Pratap Singh, Somya Mittal. It has been remarked, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. Students were taken on visits to various places, like exhibitions, science park, Apughar, Vidhan Sabha, etc. These visits were tailor-made to facilitate the students to know and understand the real multicultural world. The school discreetly organized educational trips to strategically and historically important places like Udaipur, Kumbhalgar, Ranakpur, Amritsar and Atari border to broaden their outlook. Children of Balgadi got an opportunity to explore the cultural tradition of Nigeria through a virtual exchange program organized by Riverside Montessori School and Vidyashram Pratap. Students of both the schools displayed their costumes, flag, food, festivals, songs, dances in a creative way. Mission, a cultural fusion, was organized for students, parents and teachers to celebrate and commemorate the monumental occasion of 75 years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Students presented dances, participated in craft activities, and mesmerized everyone with the ramp walk wearing costumes of different states with their parents. We have given you a bird's eye view of achievements of our students. As time constraint does not allow us more, I take this opportunity to thank the school management committee for their guidance and support. It is their visionary, inspiring and encouraging leadership that help us continue in our expedition to excellence in the field of education. I thank the Almighty for all the blessings. I would like to conclude with an extract from Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening written by Robert Frost to express our way forward. The woods are lovely, dark and deep but we have promises to keep, and miles to go before we sleep, and miles to go before we sleep. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. The best and beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt by heart. So, to propose a vote of thanks, I would like to invite head girl Munanuta Joshi. Of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Thankfulness may consist merely of words. Gratitude is shown in acts. Namaskar. Namaskar to honorable chief guest, invited dignitaries, parents, teachers, and students. I, Munat Tata Joshi, on behalf of our school, Bharti Vidya Bhavan Vidya Ashram Pratap Nagar, and the entire fraternity of the institution, deem it a great honor and a prerogative to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. First of all, we extend our most sincere thanks to the God for making today's event a resounding success. With His blessings and grace, we were able to make this event what it would unfold into. We would like to thank our chief guest for sparing his valuable time for us and gracing this event with his benign presence. Sir, your thoughts have motivated all of us. We all are grateful to you for your valuable presence and guidance. We would like to express our sincere gratitude 
towards honorable dignitaries for having spared their valuable time to grace the occasion. Their constant motivation and encouragement have always enlightened our path to success. With deep sense of appreciation, we would like to put on record the tireless efforts of our teachers who didn't leave any stone unturned and made this event a grand success. We must acknowledge and appreciate the hard work put in by the auditorium manager and staff, administrative staff, non-teaching staff and the technical team who kept the wheels rolling behind the scenes and ensured the smooth conduction of program. We would also like to thank our Prefectural Council for being on their toes for this whole week. We are short of words for their involvement and their willingness to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. We are highly grateful to our students, parents and parents for supporting us and taking part in this event with great enthusiasm. Our students have shown great zeal in preparing for the incredible performances that you will soon witness and they are worthy of appreciation. Our sincere thanks to the ushering staff for their dedication, silent support and encouragement. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the others. On behalf of our school fraternity, I wish to thank you all once again for being a part of this event and for helping us to glorify this day. Thank you. Namaskar and warm greetings to the August gathering. So finally, we are all set to watch our cultural program, for which we all have been waiting for so long. Yes, but after witnessing the program, I am sure that you won't regret the wait. So Isha, let's not delay the program more and tell us about today's theme. Yes, as a part of our country's 75 years of independence, we have gathered here today to celebrate Bharat Prakirtanam. Hmm. By Bharat Prakirtanam, do you mean celebrating our freedom fighters? No, not exactly, but you may try again. Okay, mm, then let me guess. Uh, is it about digitalization or our country's development? No. Nishant, let me tell you. Bharat Prakirtana means singing about the heroic stories of our great Indian legends. The great Jews who took our country on the path of development in different spheres of life. Although we won't be able to show all, but we'll definitely witness the work of some of the recipients of the great Bharat Ratri. Oh, that's great to know. I am sure it will be very interesting. Isha, just look here. I can see a different kind of a tree. It looks so magical. You are right. It is a magical tree. And it will narrate us the story of all the Bharat Ratans. Oh, that sounds really amazing. So, let's not wait anymore and let the fun begin. Just one last thing we must not forget to remind. We earnestly request everyone to put their mobile phones on silent mode so that you may enjoy the program and the performances to its fullest. Look Nishan, I can hear some footsteps approaching. Oh yes, I can see some children coming here. So let's hurry up and get ready to watch an exciting program. Singing and dancing. 
Really, Dada Ji? Then it would be really interesting. Dada Ji, I can see some faces shining in these leaves. Are there any angels that this tree hides underneath? You are right, Ratna. These are the real angels of our country's history. These are those forty-eight diamonds who received the great Bharat Ratna and added to the Indian glittery. Wow, Dada Ji. Will we see these leaves dancing? I cannot wait anymore to see the thrill, fun, and musty. Okay, very curious boy. Let's play a game and start unfolding the mystery. One by one, you pluck a leaf of your choice. It will tune to your beats and let us together rejoice. That's a good idea, Dada Ji. But there is a little problem. My dear Dadi. Is not very well in English, and we not act to that degree. Who said English? I know not. Big Bahadur of India, I know more than this pot of fury. Don't listen. You begin. Big Bahadur of India. <laughs> Don't know little much. He is grandfather of Bharat. What we say Bharat in English? India. Bharat means India. So what we speak in English? Father of India, don't know and talk about my English. Huh? Okay, okay, big mother of India. Now let's not fight. Let's begin with the game and enjoy it to the last of its bite. So, children, close your eyes, get ready for the wine, and together let's see the magic tree turns live. Unfold the unsung poetry, so that you all may learn and add further to its glory. Your grandfather has been my friend for long, so let us join hands and together sing a magical song. Hello, my dear friend. A happy feeling to see you after long. Here are my children who have come to meet you. Can you share the story of victory and show them the glory behind you? Why not, my dear friend? Let us begin the game. That is my favorite. You pluck any leaf of your choice. Enjoy the fun. But first, listen to my learned voice. Learned voice? Yes, learned voice. Meaning, we will surely have some fun together. But fun with good knowledge is always a better choice. Well said, my friend Tree. Now, will you unfold the mystery, my dear children? Bharat Ratna is the award of the highest civilian order, which is not only limited to art, literature, science, or social service, but any field of human endeavor. Look at the shape of the Bharat Ratna. That looks like the shape of my leaf. On one side, it has sun rays. That are bright and Satyamay Jayate on its other side. Oh yes, magic and tree. My teacher told me it was first given in year year 1954. Not only to the Indians, but out of 48, three living abroad. Very good, Ranga. For this, you need an applause. Okay, now let's begin with the game. Big father of India, I play the game first because you know I most intelligent in insub. <laughs> okay, no problem, big mother of India. You be the first one and get me a leaf of your choice. Of good music, tree of magic tells them about this leaf and 
Let them know about real music. Hmm. Good. Big mother of India, you really have a good taste. This is the golden leaf of the great Shri Pandit Bhim Sen Guru Raj Joshi, one of the greatest Indian vocalist from Kirana Gharana. Magical tree can be some of his beautiful songs to know him better. Yes, curious boy. Let me not be a preachy tree. Close your eyes. Count to three, and here you see children like you sitting on their knee and singing the song of his highest degree. One, two, three. अरे वाह! देखो, सब लोग आ गए हमारी संगीत प्रस्तुति सुनने। अब जी जान लगा के गाएंगे और सबको बताएंगे कि शास्त्रीय संगीत में कितनी मधुरता है। हाँ, उसी के लिए ही तो हम इतने दिनों से मेहनत कर रहे हैं। पर मुझे एक बात का डर है। अरे, डर किस बात का? हमारे टीचर्स हैं ना हमारे साथ? नहीं, वो बात नहीं है। मैं तो ये सोच रही हूँ क्या हम उनके जैसा गा पाएंगे? तुम्हें पता है हमारी भी मैम ने एसेंबली में क्या कहा था? हाँ पता है कि सही दिशा में रखा गया हमारा हर कदम हमें मंजिल की ओर ले जाएगा चाहे फिर हमारी मंजिल हमसे कितनी भी दूर क्यों ना हो। तो ये बात तुम भूलो मत कि पंडित जी ने भी अपने जीवन में बहुत संघर्ष किया था तब तभी तो मुझे शुरू में जब सर ने ये राग विंदावनी सारंग सिखाई थी तो उतनी समझ में नहीं आई थी पर अब देखो मुझे ऐसे गाना बहुत अच्छा लगता है तो हो गई ना प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व बस हमें बहुत अच्छे से गाना है चलो चलो अपनी जगह बैठते हैं प्रस्तुति शुरू होने वाली है हाँ हाँ चलो सर बुला रहे हैं 